Before the second part actually starts, I need to explain a few things. The first part was supposed to include the also lighting part, but I actually forgot to put it in. So it's going to be separated into three parts. This part is going to be lighting and the third part is going to be Photoshop. So this video is just going to be lighting just for you to know. So yeah, peace. So now that you made it to the second part, I'm going to be showing you how to do all the other stuff, lighting, etc. And there's going to be timestamps, so I'm actually going to be showing you two techniques of actually doing lighting. One of them is going to involve doing it in Blender, the second is going to be in Photoshop. Yes, jump right into this. So, first thing I want to do when it comes to Sky and Blender is get a cloud. We're going in Toolbox, oops. Type in Cloud. Check that, we have cloud right here. Now I'll export this and move this into Blender. Now that we have it in Blender, what I always do is move it to the back. Just like this. And boom. Now what you want to do is actually scale it by Z, X, Y. Actually no, don't. Maybe a bit. And just place it randomly, it doesn't matter. can scale it down to sort of create distance and actually move it apart a bit. okay we should do like this now this is where the real lighting actually comes in so what you want to do is drag the corner just like this, click this, shader editor, and from object, change it to world. Then this is going to pop up. So I'm actually going to go into window view, hit load, and make sure your background isn't transparent. What, are, what you want to do now is click the yellow button and click sky texture. Now for me, I actually have settings ready for this that I did before. So just copy my settings I'm about to do in front of you. Now when you actually check the window, you can see it's dark. So something I do often is, let's see, I delete parts that block off our sun. So just go to edit mode and delete parts that the camera can't even pick up so just check I can go ahead and click X then faces and lag a bit but okay and I'm going to go ahead and actually move this so it doesn't cast a shadow now you're gonna wait a bit and the sun is actually coming from over here, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So you just want to play with the sun rotation. So let's do it like this. And we need to move it a bit more. So, like this. A bit more. There we go. Now, last thing you need to do is load down to strength, the strength to 0.4. Just like that. And lastly, what I like to do because these actually have a lower shadow, is add a sun to it. And rotate it on the Y axis by, y, by 180, like that. And I'm sorry if this was a jump cut, but there was another thing I forgot to tell you to actually enable, and that's ambient occlusion. And just set it to maybe, yeah, 0.2 would be good, maybe. Let's, just, let's see from the preview. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and test one of this real quick for you guys. And just like that, we have our first render. Sorry for the low quality, I just wanted to do this a bit faster. But another thing you can actually do now is load down the 
camel lane just to sort of have this more view I guess I don't know something about Loina makes it look much much better and I just like zoomed in a lot yeah this should be good I'll move this main player a bit again And I'm going to move this player to the side. Okay, now let's check the window again. So this is what I ended up looking like at the end. The reason there's this huge jump cut is because I actually lost this video clip. So I actually had to put it in just like this and record it in the way editing software so yeah now i'm gonna show you the second method for this next step it's actually gonna be a lot a lot more faster to render than the others so what you want to do is actually delete the sky you had before if you even have them and we want to do now let me just find what i'm looking for okay make sure your strength is set to one add a light sun On to the center just like this and just rotate it to about like this yeah yeah you should be good like this go to the world icon enable ABI occlusion set it to maybe 0.23 like that yeah you should be good and this is it really let me actually lower this to maybe Mm, and 50 and make sure back on is transparent and that's it i'm gonna render this and i'll see you guys in photoshop So as I said from the start, there's not going to be a photoshop part in this one because I messed up the recording stuff and yeah. So this was just lighting and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in photoshop, the video should be up in like, I don't know, 30 minutes maybe, I don't know. So yeah, peace.